So the first one is about as ifs. And you guys all jump in as I, as I ask these. Can you use the same as if for different actions? Can use the same as if for different actions. Yes. No. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Cobb, bring it down. Here we go. Well, I feel, I feel like um, you know Scott Ziegler, who's you know another practical aesthetic genius um, among the other you know five assembled here. Uh, Scott believes like there's like like five actions, you know what I mean? Not wrong. The way that we word them is up to the artist playing them. But like when you, when you really like capital E essential, it's like three things. So sure, sure. If, if it works for you, great. Are we allowed to rebut it? Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah. I think it's a yes and no answer only because there are often people in your life who are so important and profound and move you that you immediately think of them and you can place them inside of any single experience and, and just feel deeply, right? But I do think the purpose of the as if is to be as specific as possible so that then you're acting as specific as possible and you turn your brain off. If your brain is on in any way and connected to to the person, the things that you've you've thought about to get you there, yeah, you can't defeat the purpose. It's not allowing you to be as free. That's my two cents. Yeah, I say no because the the in my mind the purpose of the as if is to align you with that specific action. And I agree that I I don't agree that there's five or six actions, but I think that there's probably five or six categories of actions. And that your ability to distinguish between one action and another is part of your artistic um, literacy and articulation of your of your craft. So you you the as if is not there to make you upset. A lot of, I think it gets misunderstood that way, or to make you emotional. It's to empower you. It's to give yourself a full body, head to toe explanation of what am I like when I am fully doing this action. Oops. Um, this you have a good one, Karen. <laughs> uh, when you when you were do doing this action, so you wouldn't. So if you change your action, you should absolutely change your as if, so that your behavior distinctly changes, so that you're really following through on that change. And, and so that you're doing something really specific. Anya? Yeah, I, I agree. And you know, um, um, not to turn this into a debate, but uh, this, this idea of, you know, there are only five actions or there are only eight actions, you know, um, you know some, of, some of the geniuses who were my teachers, like, um, Bill Macy, Scott have said this, and you know, it, it, it feels like lightning is gonna come down and strike me for uh, rebutting something that they might say because they're so brilliant. But I will say this, for me, in my own work with actors, I'm a director, I'm not, I'm interested in the finest, finest, finest differences in all the different things that a human being might do. And so um, I feel like often when I'm analyzing scenes, working with actors on analyzing scenes, I'll, I, I, I often use actions that I've never thought of. I feel like I make up new actions for, for most scenes that I work on. And I think what Karen says about there being different categories of actions is probably actually really true, although I'd never really thought about it that way. That, that, you know, and you could say that like this blue violet action is like nearly the same as this, you know, ultramarine action. But I, to me, I'm interested in the difference between the blue violet and the ultramarine, just these subtle shades of what a person is doing um, is really interesting to me. And I, and I, I, I totally agree with, with what Siobhan and, and Karen were saying about the as if, to me, the as if is meant to habitualize to, to allow the actor to embody and then habitualize on a very, you know, cellular physical level, a very specific task. And to me, the delight of the, the 
I get excited about what makes it really specific, what makes this scene different from any other scene. And so, um, yeah, to me, the as if needs to be specific to that action. And as Karen always says, when you change your action, you change their, your as if. That's what, that's my feeling. Get in there, Clark. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I thought you guys knew this. There's 23 actions. <laughs> <laughs> it was 22 until 2011. They discovered another one near Pluto. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I find, hmm, I find the process of doing this, and I want to be super clear because some, for some reason I always get asked this. Every single thing I do, whether it's a sitcom or a Marvel movie or a mammoth play last year or what have you. I am going through it and I am analyzing what the character's doing. What is the essential action? What is the as if? And at the same time, you know, sometimes you, it's a lot of years of a lot of different stuff. And it's like being a plumber. You're like, well, this doesn't work. I know it's supposed to, but it doesn't work unless you tie these two together. And I find that I'll come up with an as if for the action I thought. And then I'll realize that really isn't the right action. But boy, that scenario gets me really, I really want to do that because for me, the as if has two purposes. One is to show me how I would do it, which a lot of times is very, if I'm lucky, is different from what the scene is because there's a weird temptation to just reiterate the scene in the analysis and it always flattens out everything. And when you've got this secret where I'm doing this, I know I'm supposed to be a psycho killer, but I'm going to save these people from the pain of the rest of their life. And in my scenario, it's something nice, right? I will tweak the action. I will go back and fix the action to find words that light me up. And I don't know why to juggle a scenario might light me up today. Once I plug it into the words of this scene, which I'm not really paying attention to, but different actions, different wording and different as ifs interact differently. In term and then I get the director filtering me in sometimes beautiful, sometimes like what? Um, things that I've got to then translate very quickly like a field surgeon into what, and I find that I can sometimes change the story of the as if that I'm telling myself, whether it's in my past or my future, that's cheating. Um, and uh, I heard that that was maybe gonna be a question and it really changes what I'm doing if I'm lucky. You know, 